Yes, we are in my bathroom and I just made this cute mouthwash holder and a matching glass. So stay tuned and I will show you how to make it. Hey y'all, welcome back. First off, let me apologize for all the racket in the background. It is raining so hard here today, just like it has been doing every day this week. I mean, there is no sunshine in my part of North Carolina at all. And I know it's been a while since I've posted a video, but Y'all know that my state fair is coming up in October, and so I've been working really, really hard on items to, you know, um, submit into the contest there again this year. I'm trying to get caught up with my kids' homeschooling. I also take courses online, so, you know, I've been trying to do that, work on my blog, and get everything caught up. But, um... For this project, what we're going to need is one of these, like the oil and vinegar bottles that you can get from Dollar Tree. I want to make a matching glass. So this is just a candle holder from Dollar Tree. This twine also came from Dollar Tree. You can find this over in the automotive section. It comes in a three pack. You get two rolls of this and a roll of green for a dollar, which is not bad. You're also going to need a glue gun and glue sticks. I use Gorilla Glue and some seashells. Now I got these seashells from the Habitat for Humanity Restore. If you have not shopped there, if you can find one, please shop there. It goes, all the money there, it goes to a good cause. And I got this huge bag of shells for $1.50. Now I already had a set of these made one time before for my bathroom, but during all the moving and everything, it got broken. So I'm making a new set. This is really simple. Really don't even need a tutorial for this. But what I'm going to do is just take my glue gun here and let me get a piece of paper just to wipe excess glue on. Sorry about that. I usually have that all ready to go. And all that I'm going to be doing basically is just taking this twine and we're going to be wrapping it around the bottle. I don't want it to cover the entire bottle. I'm going to start eh, about a third way up from the bottom and then just wrap a center piece here. Let's see, am I getting this? Yeah, I got this. Wasn't even paying attention as to whether or not I was in frame. Not good. I know this looks messy right now, but I will go back and trim off this edge. It seems like when you post videos with any kind of craft or any kind of DIY, there's all these people chiming in. Well, you should do it this way. You should do it this way. You know what? You do it the way you want to do it. I want to do it the way I want to do it. How's that? Or as my grandma used to say, how's them apples? And this is really, really simple. You just wrap your twine around your bottle, however far up you want it to go. I'm going to try to scrunch it all together so that, you know, there's not, not a lot of gaps here. And this does look okay with like any kind of mouthwash, but I try to stick with only blue mouthwash because it kind of looks like ocean water, you know? I just think that looks better. That's all that I'm going to do. I'm just wrapping this around and around and around. And I'm not going to bore y'all with that. So I'm going to continue this process. And I will pause the video. And once I get enough of my, my twine here wrapped around, I'll come back and show you what to do next. Okie dokie. So I am done. I wrapped the center of this. And as you can see, I went ahead and I wrapped some of the twine around the top too. I just thought it kind of balanced it out a little bit better. And I wrapped my glass just a few times. And yes, I know I made a mess with the glue right there. But you know what? We're going to cover it with a shell and you're not going to be able to see it. Now, what I have found an easy way to glue on shells, especially kind of like this. You see how it's all scooped out? I mean, there's no backing on it. But if you will fill it up with hot glue, like I have done this one, and let it cool off. It creates a perfectly flat back, and now you can glue it on whatever you like. And I did stick my finger in this one a while ago just to see if it was had solidified enough for me to be able to use it, and I kind of made a mess with it, but it's okay. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on there and stick it onto my glass here. Just like that. I'm sorry if I didn't get that in, in frame. Let's set that off to the side. I'm going to kind of prop it up on my towel here. And hopefully it won't slide off. Okay, now which side do I want to put the shell on this? I think on this side. And I did the same thing with this shell here. I just filled up, 
filled up it. Ha! <laughs> filled it up with hot glue and it is still really, really hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay it flat down like that. As you can see, just a tiny, tiny little blue, blah. I cannot talk today. I haven't had enough coffee. As you can see, just a tiny little bit of glue right there. So it's going to stick. So I'm just going to glue that down like that. And there you go. Just something simple to make to spruce up your bathroom a little bit, you know, so that you don't have the big awkward bottle of mouthwash sitting around. So I hope you like this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye-bye.